This has to be a bad dream. Wake up, Sunset. Wake up! Ow! Nope, you're awake! Ow! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> what about you? No! Rainbow Dash, you saved me in that race! What are you talking about? I can see your memories, and I'm not in them! And exactly how is it you can see our memories, if you don't mind me asking? With this. Oh, it's obviously a cheap knockoff of ours. We got them together. You were there, remember? Why is she still talking to us? Pinkie Pie, what about when I came to your sleepover before the Battle of the Bands? Ha! The closest you've ever come to a party of mine is freshman year when you pretended to be Applejack and texted me. Your party is lamer than a hungry duck in snow boots. Like I'd ever say that. It really hurt my feelings. And wasn't very nice to the ducks, either. That was a long time ago. Twilight, you remember me, right? We've been through so much together. Please. I only met you once, when you yelled at me at the games. Doesn't anyone remember that I've changed? Maybe not any one. I'll be right back. Don't hurry back, darling. <sighs> Dear Princess Twilight, this is gonna sound crazy, but are we friends? Am I nice? Please answer. We're friends. <sighs> Are you okay? What's going on? Kind of hard to explain. Might be easier in person. Well, not person, so to speak. Sunset? Ah! Oops. <laughs> Was trying to hug you. So, what's been happening? This is bad, Sunset. It's way beyond anything I've ever heard of. Although... What? I just had an idea, but you might not like it. I'll do anything to get my friends back, Twilight. There is one pony who might be able to help, but I don't know if you two want to see each other. Who? Oh. So, Princess Celestia, <laughs> you'll never guess who's back. Actually, maybe you can guess, because she's right here. But, um... Am I helping? Princess Celestia, the last time we saw each other, I was your snide little pupil who betrayed and abandoned you. I wouldn't have said it that way. <clears throat> what Sunset means to say is... I mean that I come before you a changed pony, humbly asking for forgiveness, guidance, and knowledge. Or I can just go and you never have to see me again. I've 
missed you, Sunset Shimmer. Uh, I'm so sorry. I am not familiar with the exact spell that could have erased your friend's memories, but it sounds like equestrian magic is at work in your world. Mm, indeed. The toilings of this nefarious enchantment could portend unimaginable catastrophe if left unchecked. Sorry, I'm just used to hearing you say no student parking in the faculty lot. <laughs> this faculty lot you speak of sounds like a place of great power. <laughs> the answers you seek are in the Canterlot Library. There's over a million books in here. I wish! But don't worry, you're looking at some pony who knows this place like the back of her hoof. Where are you going, Princess Celestia? To the restricted section. There's a... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... Breathe, Twilight. <gasps> for helping me go through all this stuff. Don't take this away from me! I should warn you, however, the Archive's mechanical catalog has not been well-maintained. <laughs> Guess we'll have to read everything! Come on! No way! Can you believe they have Sunset. That's when it gets good. <gasps> Over here! The original Wendigo weather warning from the pre equestrian era! Oh, <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just can't. <sighs> Did you know Chancellor Puddinghead tried to pass a law mandating Earth ponies drink carrot juice at every meal? I do. Know that. No. Aw, sounds like you got to read all the fun books. Yeah, I should probably take a break from looking. <sighs> because I found something! You're familiar with the seven trials of Clover the Clever? Obviously. Why? Well, first of all, these date back to before the founding of Equestria. Look at this. The Memory Stone. That sounds promising. It belonged to an evil sorceress who was practically invincible. With the memory stone, she could erase any memory from any pony, even fragments of memories. Fragments? Like memories of me being nice? Mm-hmm. Clover the Clever knew the sorceress had to be stopped and the stone destroyed, so he chased her across land and sea. But every time he got close, the sorceress would erase his memory and escape. But he kept finding her. How? These scraps of parchment, he secretly wrote everything down so he'd know what had happened and where to go next, like a trail of breadcrumbs. Clever. Oh, Clover, that, yeah, got it. What happened on the other side of this portal? The last page is missing. Clover must have hit it to keep any pony else from finding the memory stone. Sunset, what if the memory stone ended up in your world? And someone is using it to make everyone hate me again. But who? 